we are bringing you a Realme 13 Pro Supreme as well as two 13 Pro Homes. Next, we quickly unboxed. First, let's take a look at the 13 Pro Ultra yellow packaging, 13 Pro AI logo in the upper left corner. The damping of the box is just right, really my slogan and accessories. Take out the charger under the mobile phone body and part of the data cable and the family photos are placed here. Let's take a look at them one by one. The case, the pins and the paper case are partially made of a soft silicone, but with a leather texture on top, followed by a charger. The maximum output power of Port A is 11V4.1, a maximum output power comes to 45WA. See data cable standard, 99cm. Finally, let's look at the mobile phone itself. First of all, if the screen is not lit, we can see the design of the single opening double zone face in the center, and then let's look at the back. The back of the fuselage is treated with a matte finish, a very elegant purple color. The round lens module above and the Realm logo below the light can be seen above the back panel, similar to quicksand. Matte texture, official color Monet. Then let's look at the details. The round lens module is surrounded by a circle of metal decoration inside. A vertical bar-like texture diverges from the middle to the periphery, the cutouts of the three lenses, and a dual-color temperature flash. The three lenses are 50 million pixels, 8 million pixels, and 2 million pixels. And then let's look at the side of the phone. The power button and volume button can be seen throughout the body, and the entire body is very narrow, with a very narrow top speaker cutout and a secondary microphone cutout. The bottom SIM card slot, microphone charging port, and speaker cutouts are, of course, bezels around the fuselage and no antenna strip. This means that the machine is not a metal material in the border material. However, the body part of this machine supports IP65 level of dust and water resistance, and the weight of the whole machine comes to 191.2 grams when it comes with the film from the factory. Next, let's continue unboxing the 13 Pro. This 13 Pro's main upgrade is the charger, an 80W super fast charging brick with max output of 11V-7. 3A. Let's remove the protective film. The front with the screen off still features a curved display design center camera cutout. Um. Now the back, the leather finish, has a subdued color, different from the 13 Pro Max we saw earlier. This 13 Pro uses a leather design in a blue-green shade, officially called Lake Green. Now let's look at another 13 Pro color, Monet Gold. We've now seen all three main colors, Lake Green, Monet Gold, and Monet Purple. One, two, three from left. Which color do you prefer? With factory screen protector, it weighs 188.2 G. Set quite light for 2024, especially considering its 5200 mAh battery. Monet Gold color, 192.6 G, also under 200 G13 Pro, has three lenses. 50MP main and 50MP telephoto, and an 8MP wide-angle lens. Let's quickly look at the system regarding the applications. It comes with 21 pre-installed third-party apps. In my test, it's slightly above average. Now let's check out the test background. We can see the dual-zone design. The screen-to-body ratio is quite good. Next, let's look at the display first. The refresh rate has smart switching 60Hz standard and up to 120Hz refresh rate. There are three options to choose from. The screen is a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 2412x1080 and a 120Hz refresh rate. Overall, it runs quite smoothly. Regarding the audio, it has dual speakers. The bottom speaker is slightly louder. The top speaker is a bit quieter. And when playing audio, there's also haptic feedback. This phone also has an X-axis linear motor. As for the Screen Pro Plus and Ultimate, have the same spec in terms of brightness manual. Max is 600 nits, in sunlight it can reach 1200 nits. It also supports 2160 Hz PWM dimming for Pro Plus and Ultimate Editions. There's little difference in appearance. The main differences are in specs regarding battery capacity. Both have a large 5200 mAh battery. Pro Plus has 80W fast charging, while this one has 45W fast charging. The biggest difference is in cameras. Pro Plus has three rear cameras, a 50MP main camera, an 8MP wide-angle lens, and a 50MP telephoto lens. For the Ultimate Edition, it's 50MP plus 8MP plus 2MP, a three-lens configuration regarding the screen. Both phones have unique features, like the front glass. Using Realme Qinghai glass, 
claim to be 160% more drop resistant and twice as scratch resistant for other hardware features, both support all round NFC. So in this price range, they're quite comprehensive. Now let's take a look at their actual photo performance. The imaging is quite notable, especially on the Realm Pro Plus with up to 120x zoom in the Realm Digital series, particularly the Pro Plus. The main focus is on imaging. So Pro Plus main camera uses the Sony LIT. 701 sensor AI features offer fun capabilities with AI processing. It can sharpen blurry photos, like restoring old photos. If you mainly use it for photos, I'd recommend the Pro Plus version. It has better camera spec. After this quick unboxing, let's summarize briefly. If you're looking in the 2000 price range for a camera-focused daily driver, the Pro Plus overall compared to the Ultimate Edition offers better value for money. Slightly more powerful, especially in telephoto performance. Stylish thin, great for photos. These are the two new Realm Digital models. I'm Arkun. This has been our test. See you in the next episode.